Hi everybody, it's Ellen with Classroom Unbound and I wanted to share with you guys a homeschool haul that I had. Our local homeschool chapter had a curriculum sale so we went and got a bunch of books and I spent $60 today on different curriculum that we're going to use throughout the year and I'm only going to use what you see right here in addition to what we have and we're just going to end the library and we'll make that work for the rest of the year. So I wanted to share with you guys some awesome finds that I had today. Um, I'll start with here in the front. So I got Janice Van Cleve's Geography for Every Kid and then some thematic unit books. So Oceans, Ancient Egypt, Ecology, and then some learning works. So these are castles, codes, and calligraphy. So just different ideas on um, what to do. I know we wanted to do a, a medieval unit, so that'll be good for that. And then also one for Native Americans, so that'll be fun. And then some more curriculum stuff, so this one's $5, but children around the world, so a classroom field trip, so we want to do a, um, a bunch of around the world stuff, make sure that they know their geography before they learn detailed history. They have to know you know really where everything is and then just some pre-k um here math some really simple one either my five-year-old or my three-year-old will go through these and then capital lowercase letters so one of them will work through them and this is mainly like when we take trips i think i'll use this mostly i also got the phonics pathways book um, not necessarily to teach them to read, but um, I'm interested in just seeing um, just the different methods. I've seen this book and I've, I've seen it on YouTube videos, so I wanted to get a, a better understanding. I used um, the Ordinary Parents Guide to teaching your children how to read for my oldest. But I want to see um, how they do it for this one. Uh, got a beginning phonics and a wipe clean workbook which I'm more of a fan of doing this because then I don't have to use a lot of worksheets I can just have them use this and erase it beginning charts graphs and diagrams so a little math fun and then travel the great states we plan on taking a road trip this fall and we are going to go through let's see one two three four five six seven eight states so I thought this would be a good one for them to go through. Okay, and then we have Kingfisher's Young People's Book About Oceans. So just like an encyclopedia of oceans. This one was like a dollar. Planet Earth, science book. Uh, kind of like a science textbook, but really interesting information. And I like the pictures in here as well. And then the next that we have are math books because I love math. So I just thought these math dictionaries were very awesome. They're us born. And these I got, there are one, two, three, three. So it was like $5 each. But I just thought that they were really nice math dictionaries. So this is the first one. And then the elementary math dictionary um, is the second one also nicely illustrated and lots of explanations in there and then there is the third one which is even more complicated so probably like closer middle high school level I just really love it so this might even be more for me than for the children but I'm sure that they'll look through this one is another Usborn Science Encyclopedia. This one was $5. And we just really like encyclopedias. We enjoy reading them, so this will be a great addition. And then these, all these Usborn books were a dollar. So we have Planet Earth. Just real simple, small one. You can easily just keep this one in the car. First Guide to the Universe. Nicely illustrated really neat and then I'm always a fan of flat books I think all of us are so this one barely has even been used and this was a dollar 
Um, actually, I don't even know. I can't even tell if it's been opened at all. But this is a fun one about our planet Earth. And then another one for a dollar, Us Born Encyclopedia of World Religions. And these books were just in such good condition, I couldn't help myself. More Us Born fun. We have Secrets of the Seashore, and we have the, um, the space one and the construction one. And the kids really love them, so they take a, if you don't know about this, they take a flashlight behind... Um, like they would shine a flashlight behind this page and then they would be able to see these in the water. So I thought for a dollar, I couldn't pass that one up. Um, Our World, a smaller lift the flap book, but still lift the flap. We have a castles one from Usborne and also the human body one. And so for a dollar, again, I couldn't pass this one up. See inside the world of dinosaurs. Excellent condition for a dollar. This is great. And then big book of bugs. This would have been great for our insect unit. So we might just have to do another insect unit. These like really pull out and they're beautifully illustrated. So I look forward to going through these with the kids. So much information. I'm excited. And then the last Usborn book, uh, Picture Atlas of the World. And um, all the stickers are still in here. So again, this was, I think this one I even paid 50 cents for. So super exciting. And then we also got the children's books of myths and legends so I'll probably use this like during our morning time or morning meeting um, just to read just through different myths and legends out there in the free bin things that big book of things that go for my middle son he loves cars and trucks and this book is a little bit more beat up but for free I'll take it and then from, these are mostly for my daughter. The lady had a little girl and she was basically giving all these books away for like 50 cents to a dollar. She loves Frozen, so I've got a little Frozen book. And my daughter's three. And a uh, coloring book, barely colored in. Another Frozen book. Then we have Five Minute Stories, which are easy fun reads of all, yep, all Frozen books. And then Sophia the First, Fancy Nancy, she's a big Fancy Nancy fan, and then Princess Bedtime Stories. So these are all, we have another book similar to this, but they're all, you know, like maybe, take maybe five, seven minutes to read through, and just like a, a short version of, or short part of the, the story. Um, not exactly like the traditional Disney story, but still has the same characters in them. And last, we have some cards, um, a little game. So this one is sight word popcorn game. So just reading skills, building reading, basic reading skills. So they take turns, you reach in the bag, and if you correctly identify the word, then you get to keep that piece. And then you see who has the most popcorn pieces in the end. And then similarly is uh, gumball math, and you just same thing, you put, put, reach your hand in and try to solve the math problem. If you get it correct, then you get to keep your gumballs and whoever has the most gumballs at the end wins. We have sequence rummy, so you just have to put the picture in order. I spy go fish. This would be a fun game on the go. And then these two trivia card things I got mostly for in the car. My oldest likes to read questions and then we can answer them. So like what can fish with bioluminescence do? Glow. So I, I just thought that that would be a fun road trip addition. So we got um, science and history. And then lastly, we have some insect and dinosaur. So if we do like a thematic unit or some kind of unit study on insects and dinosaurs, then we have some good additions. 
Thank you for watching our homeschool haul. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully you can take advantage of some homeschool curriculum sales that they have going on this summer and find some good deals. Have a great day.